camera. Um, we'll go ahead and have Coach make an opening statement, and then we'll open it up to some questions. Just as a reminder, just use raise hand function if you have a question, and we'll get to you. At this time, I'll turn it over to Coach Oates for an opening statement. Uh, tough loss. I mean, didn't have not played well early here in the season, to be honest with you. Offensively, we've struggled a lot. You know, our assist turnovers were the wrong way, 7 to 19 the wrong way. That's a major problem when you turn the ball over 19 times. I mean, you know, they they scored off those turnovers. Our rebounding ended up being an issue again. You know, it seems like it's an every other game thing. You know, you make a big deal out of it, we fix it. Like we did against Furman, the game before against Clemson, it was terrible. And now we're back to where we get out rebounded. Second chance points, 20 to 12 the wrong way for them. So you know, there's some stuff we got to clean up. It's got to be an everyday thing. Obviously, that shooting with the way we play, you know, we, we've got to shoot the ball better. I think the last three games were 25%. I think 20 to 79 from three over these last three games. Like, so we, we got to get better shots. The ball's got to move better. You know, I, as a coach, I it's on me. I've got to do a better job coaching our guys. To you know, we got we got we got to get them some better shots because we got some shooters on this team, and we got to figure out how to get our culture right to where we're bringing the. Uh, the effort it takes to win on a game-by-game uh, -game basis, and it can't come every other game. Thank you, Coach. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, James Fletcher. Go ahead, James. Yeah, Coach, uh, can you just walk me through what happened on that, that goal 10 call, uh, and what were you hearing from the officials uh, when it came to the shot clock and all that? Well, the, the first shot hit the rim, so there was a reset. They grabbed the offensive uh, board after it hit the rim, and then uh, it hit the backboard first before uh, Petty blocked it. So because it hit the backboard first, uh, it was a goal ten, and uh, that gave them their two points that uh, put them in the lead there at the end. Let's go to Mike Rodak. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion they, just over the score too. I know on TV it, it took a while for the score to change to 73 to 71. Did your players know it was tied, or, or did they know there's a lead, or did they think it was tied because it seemed like they dropped back instead of following at the end there? No, we knew we were down one or down two. I mean, we it was a tie game, and they they, I mean they you know they were kind of arguing about the uh, play, but they shoot. I mean the referees counted it, so once the referees counted it, they, they we're down two, so we're going. We got to get a two, and yeah, I, I I agree. I'm not. I, I'm a little. Confused, and again, I, I thought we'd done a lot of in-the-game situations for the last few months. You know, I got to do a better job, I guess. But yeah, I mean, we should have fouled immediately as soon as uh, we missed, and they got the rebound, and our guys kind of get got back on defense. We should have been crashing the offensive boards uh, when we shot that shot too, because at that point you don't need to get back on defense; you need a shot. So we'll, uh, we'll go through some more in-the-game situations. I thought I thought we were ready for those. You know, we. We had one. We were one and zero on one or two possession games coming into today. I, I, you know, that was a huge point of emphasis in the off season. I thought we, we spent a ton of time on it, and we did a poor job here late in the game. You know, everything would have gone better had we got gotten a stop late there. It's tied. You know, if we could have got that first rebound, uh, you know, when we forced the miss on that old board goal ten. You know, if we could have got that first rebound and it's tie game coming down, it's a whole lot different situation. But yeah, I, I think our players knew. I mean, there was no confusion. None of them said anything different after the game. I mean, the referee counted the bucket, and I don't know why it took so long for the uh, score to update. But, yeah, we, we knew what was going on in the game. All right, uh, Scott Griffin, do you have a question? Hey, Nate, it, I don't know if this is the case, but as you know, when you play fast, sometimes you can look great, sometimes you look bad. Obviously, there's a balance in finding a quality shot and ball movement with playing fast. Is that part of the issue, you think, or is it just? I, I think it. I think it's more. I t we've talked about being eager passers. I think we've got too many guys reluctant to move the ball. You know, we um, Kyra created a lot of offense for some of these guys last year, but he's not here. So we we got to figure it out. Coaching staff, players, everybody like. The shooters benefit when the ball moves because they're getting open shots and the ball's not moving right now. There's, you know, to only have seven assists to go with your 19 turnovers, that's a terrible game for the way we play. As many possessions as we get, as much as the ball is supposed to move, you know, we're looking for 
plus 15, 20 assists, not seven. So I, I, I do think playing fast, you know, the coach – loses a little control of the game when you play fast. So you've got to have some trust in the players to make correct plays. And we're not making them all the time. I, I don't, you know, I've got to do a better job coaching. We've spent a lot of time on video on some of this. We've got to, we've got to keep coaching them. I, I don't want to go back to where we're, you know, holding it up, calling a play every time down. I'm not sure that that's uh, the way we want to play. I think we can be good playing fast. I think we've just, we've got to, get some stuff going. I'll say this too, for everything that's gone wrong, if we make some shots, the beginning of the season's a whole lot different. I, like you go to our Clemson game where we're three for 22, you look at this game, we're seven of 26. You know, if we can just shoot 33%, which is not even good, you know, but it's at least not what we've been, you know, we, we probably win both those games. So, and everybody's looking at this thing a whole lot different. And I don't think if you go look at every, and we look at every single shot, I don't think we're, we didn't shoot 22 bad shots against Clemson. The majority of those shots were pretty open shots. And even tonight, I, I think we're turning down shots because we've been missing. I think we're turning down more good shots than we are taking bad shots. And we just got to get back to where we're, you know, if we start making some shots, the offense will start to look a lot better. And hey, we got a follow up with Mike Rodak. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, Nate, I know on TV, too, they were talking a lot about how defenses are really focusing on Petty and trying to shut him down. Do you have to respect that, or can you still find ways to get him the ball and get him the score and not necessarily have to force it to other guys? No, we tried. I mean, they you know, they are jumping out a little bit. We, uh, we tried a few different actions. We've tried uh, – he gets his best shots when the defense breaks down, they're in rotations, kick out wide open three. We're not getting the defense broke down enough. We're not – I think that happens more when you play faster, to be honest with you. You get the ball up the floor, you got a cross matches, you get a paint touch, you spray it. The ball's moving there in rotations. All of a sudden, he's wide open, bang, he hits a three. We're not, we're not getting that this year. I mean, if you go look at his threes he hit last year, a bunch of those came. Or they come where, you know, Kyra gets in a ball screen, Kyra beats his man in transition, they suck in, he sprays it, Petty's wide open. And he's not missing most of those. And we're just not getting him enough of those right now. And we, we've got to do a better job of that. All right, last question will be to James Fletcher. Go ahead, James. Hey, Coach, uh, a little bit of a two-parter here. What went into the decision to uh, start Rojas over Quinterly? And then what did you think about Quinterly's response? Uh, well, we thought Rojas played really well. We thought we needed a better start to the game. We gave up 16 points before the first media timeout last game. We, we wanted our – best defensive lineup we could get in there. We felt he gave us that. So we just kind of went defensive minded this game. And you know what, I thought our defense was a lot better to start this game. Our offense was a disaster in the first four minutes. But defensively, we were uh, we were better this game. So in some regards, it accomplished what we wanted with uh, getting our defense picked up. Uh, I thought Quinterly responded well. I mean, I told him before the game, you know, like if you come in and respond well, you'll play more minutes this game, you know, and he did. He played five more minutes this game than he did last game. But, you know, we, we still, we've, we've got to get a group in there that's good on both sides of the ball. We've got to get a group that can play great offense and defense. This isn't football where you can roll out your defensive team and sub in your offensive team when you go to offense. You've got, you got to have a group that can play both sides of the ball. And right now we're struggling to find five guys that can move the ball on offense and also sit down and guard on defense. And, you know, I, early in the year, I, I – didn't have enough minutes for everybody because I thought we had more players. Now I'm, some minutes are starting to get shrunk, and we need some guys to step up. And we're, 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 we got to find the ro right rotation to where we play both sides of the ball. But I thought Quinterly handled it well. I thought his attitude was good. I thought he played hard. Uh, you know, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get him where we need him to get to. Hopefully. All right. Thank you, Coach.